this be true? Just in 2023, Falana says Jonathan on no grounds can contest the 2023 elections. But why? Jonathan, constitutionally speaking, still has one tenor to go, just like we have Donald Trump in America, who has only spent one tenor, and that's why the judiciary system is trying to instigate law against him, you know, try to bring up everything on him so that he will not go ahead and contest and have a second tenor if ever he still desires to be American president, for instance. Same thing with good luck, Ibele Jonathan, in Nigeria. Constitutionally speaking, you are entitled to spending one tenor, and two tenor, I beg your pardon, as a governor, as a president, and some certain uh, political appoint um, you know, elections when you were voted in. For appointees, it's quite different. But if you are voted in by the people, you're only expected to spend two tenor. Falana is senior advocate of Nigeria, human rights activist, who speaks for the, I mean, he's a voice for the people, a voice for the voiceless to a large extent, you know, speak in case and in matters regarding the law, you know, has, or I mean, everybody's aware that good luck Billy Jonathan is being, you know, enticed or seduced to come and um, run for the 2023 and also join the All Progressive Congress. Falana says this is not possible. <laughs> Let's understand his tree of thought. Just in 2023 presidency, why Jonathan cannot contest Falana declares. Human rights lawyer Femi Falana San Wednesday declared that the former president of Nigeria, good luck Ibele Jonathan, cannot contest for the 2023 presidential election by section 137, subsection 3 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, according to the 1999 as amended. There have been speculations that the former president may join the people, the All Progressive Congress, jumping from the People Democratic Party to contest the 2023 presidency. However, Falana, a senior advocate of Nigeria, says this is going to be impossible because in the law, there is a provision for that. Jonathan was elected president in 2011, but lost to Muhammad Buhari in 2015. Falana in a statement said, it, is, it has been confirmed that former president Goodluck Ibele Jonathan has decided to join the All Progressive Congress APC to contest the 2023 presidential election. However, the former president is disqualified from contesting the said election by section 137, subsection 3 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 99 as amended, as provided as provides as follows. A person who was sworn in to complete the tenor for which another person was elected as president shall not be elected to such office for more than a single tenor. Did you hear that? I'll take it again. According to section 137, subsection 3 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended, it says, that provision says, a person who was sworn in to complete the tenor of another person as president shall not be elected in such office more than a single tenor. What happened? Jonathan was never president from the very first instant in 2007. He came as a running mate to the late Umaru Musa Yaradua. Late Umaru Musa Yaradua was somebody who had health issues and later passed on to be with his maker. Yes, he passed on to be with his maker, understood? And so um, Jonathan continued that administration and ended the tenor, okay, of late Umaru Musa Yaradua, completed that tenor, served it, contested a first tenor in 2011, won the election. He wanted to do second tenor, 2015, but according to INEC, Buhari won the election. 
Buhari became president. Now the North is looking for a cheap way or wants to come back to power. Let's not say cheap way. Power is which everybody wants to be in power. Yes, agreed. Now the North will not want to stay away from power for such a long time. And so wants to come back as soon as possible. Looking at the whole scheme of things, Jonathan seemed to be the one who fits right into that puzzle nicely. And so, good luck, Ebele Jonathan, has been toasted, you know, the way that they toast babe now, and they don't they toast and sings, has been told to come join the All Progressive Congress, you know, personnel has met with him, you know, Northern Elders, some Northern Elders, not everybody, has met with him, and I said, why not, if not, come and join us, have your remaining tenor serve, and all, what have you, and you know, I mean, you can, if you, if you want to, why not enjoy it, if you have the opportunity, why not take it, opportunity will not last forever, and so, Falana has gone to dig up the archive of what the constitution of Nigeria says. But again, should I interest you? It is relative. Nigeria as it were. People turn the law left, right and center to suit them. You get that now? Yes. They see white in Nigeria. And they would tell you this has become black. Henceforth, you should accept it, take it, relate with it you know, as black. Initially, what was it? White. Welcome to Nigeria. So these are some of the things that are going on. Good luck, Ebele Jonathan. Some people have met with him and said, ah, come on, you have one more tenor to go. Come and join us, you know. And Jonathan has thought, why not if not? Let's have the remaining tenor. After all, we'll have if he cannot pass school, if he fake class, not be go do as not be go repeat the class. Where was all the educated women? When myself and Mr. President was going from creek to creek in Bayasa, you know, we're talking about his wife, a very interesting individual, lovely woman. What are we talking about? Nigeria, anything can happen. The law, they will tell you this is no longer the law. Before you know it, Buhari will call up some people and the National Assembly will say that law, that clause has been removed, has been expunged to suit their own personal will and desire. This is Nigeria, in case you are wondering, where anything can happen. And so, Falana is saying, with what it is in the law as at today, good luck, Ibele Jonathan, is not suitable to contest. Let's hear your thoughts. Bye for now.